Hello, and welcome to our presentation on Beta Navis Analytics. My name is Craig Johnson, and I'm the Director of Data Science. Being a data person, I'm always looking for ways to access and analyze data. Most assessment companies make getting access to that data difficult and expensive. We wanted to change that, which is why we built Beta Navis Analytics. Beta Navis Analytics helps remove barriers, allowing you to monitor usage, look at aggregated assessment results, and answer research questions you have. Best of all, many of the features come with your base subscription to Vita Navis, no hidden fees. If you're an existing client, you can log in and look at your data now. If you're a prospective client, you'll have access the day you launch. For the remainder of the video, we'll demonstrate accessing the analytics, review various analytics pages, cover advanced features and usage, and talk about future directions. But enough talk, let's take a look. To access Vita Navis Analytics, begin by logging into your organization. Next, click the Administration tab. If by chance you don't see the Administration tab, you've ran into a security feature. Analytics are only accessible to those with sufficient access privileges. If you don't have sufficient privileges, you'll need to contact your site administrator. Once into the system, on the left-hand side, you will see a navigation bar with the title Analytics. When you click on that icon, it will expand to show all available analytics. Here we can see demographics, assessment usage, and SuperStrong. Now, let's jump into some of the basics of these analytic tools. Let's begin by looking at our demographics analytics. Our demographics analytics provides basic access to demographic information. As you can see, we provide counts for age ranges, gender, and ethnicity. Each of these graphs is interactive, allowing you to mouse over the bars to see specific breakdowns. You can also click on x-axis labels to dynamically filter the data. Now, let's look at assessment usage. The Assessment Usage Analytics provides basic information on the types of users for your organization, cumulative counts of assessments, and time series display of the data. Our Users Visualization provides a breakdown of teachers, students, and advisors. By using the x-axis labels, we can quickly interact with the data, drop the students, and get a better look at the number of teachers and advisors we have. Next, we can look at the assessment counts. While many of our customers are currently using the SuperStrong, Vita Navis is a technology platform designed to host, score, and generate reports for assessments and surveys you need. Here we can see a variety of different assessments and surveys hosted on our site. Using analytics, you can see the total number of people who have completed the assessments and surveys we are using. Again, using the labels, we can quickly filter out the SuperStrong and look at various other assessment usage. Finally, we provide a time series plot showing assessment usage over time. Using this, you can drill down into the data. Click Unselect All and choose the assessment you are interested in. By using the slider at the top of the graph, you can narrow your search to a smaller period of time and zoom in. Mouse over the line to see the date and the assessment count. Finally, let's take a look at the SuperStrong analytics page. This page provides you a mass of information about your students and their interests. Begin by exploring the general occupational themes. Here we can see a large number of high scores on social. It looks like this group really enjoys helping and enabling others. Now let's navigate through the basic interest scales which provide greater granularity into our interests. Our gradient shaded graphs are even designed to be colorblind friendly. In our example, our interests weren't really in realistic, so let's take a deeper look at social. By clicking on social, we can see that many people have a high interest in counseling and helping, healthcare services, and teaching and education. Given a lot of these were demos for individuals in the education field, that's not too surprising. You can find out about the personality-like characteristics of your students by exploring the personal style scales. What's their working style? Do they like working alone or do they prefer working with people? What about their preferred learning environment? Do they learn by doing or do they learn by listening and reading? What's the most common leadership style? Do they lead by example or do they take charge? 
What's their comfort level with risk? And do they want to be an individual contributor or part of a team? Finally, we provide a validity check to make sure the Super Strong is working. Students are provided their top six ranked basic interest scales. They then can indicate if they agree, disagree, or are unsure of each of these. This visualization shows those results. As shown here, we end up with what I like to call a stair-step pattern, with high degrees of agreement aligned with top ranked interests and lower degrees of agreement aligned with lower ranked interests. This is a great way to see for yourself that the Super Strong is working and people agree with their top ranked results. Better yet, you didn't even have to ask us. You can see it for yourself. Now that you're familiar with some of the basics, let's get a little bit more advanced. One of my favorite features of analytics is the download option. While simple, this feature allows you to print the graphic or download the data displayed on the graph. To print the chart, click the download icon and choose the print chart option. This will open your printer's print dialog. Using the dialog, you can print a hard copy or provided you have the appropriate drivers, you can save it to a PDF. We also provide you the ability to download the data used to generate the graph. You can download the data in CSV, Excel, or JSON format. To download the data, click the download icon and choose the download data option and select the data format you wish. It's important to note that the data you download will be in aggregate form, not individual user records. This is done to help protect students while providing some simple access to aggregated data. If you need access to data with greater granularity, contact us to find out about our data API. Now for some of the raw power behind Vita Navis Analytics. Each analytics board includes a default filtering system, which aggregates all of your available data. But what if you want something a little bit more nuanced? A specific date range, a particular access code? How about comparing the differences in age or location? What about a mixture of all of the above? We have you covered with our simple filtering system. Best of all, you won't break anything. So play around with your data, it's fun. Enough talking about filters, let's play with them. Start by clicking the blue filter icon. On the resulting page, we can do a couple of things, but for now, we'll focus on creating a new filter. So click the create new filter button. Now we're in the heart of the beast. Creating a filter has two main components. First, identifying the data that you want, and second, how you want to aggregate it. Let's start with the filter section at the top of the screen. The filters help limit the data to the cases you want. The date fields allow you to pick a start date and an end date to choose a date range. For this example, let's choose the month of October, November, and December of 2018. Using the organization field allows you to use the power of parent and child organizations. What do I mean? If you're implementing Vita Navis across multiple locations, you can set up parent and child organizations. A good example of this is implementing in a school district, where the district is the parent organization and each school is a child organization. Another example is implementing in a large university or community college system who have multiple campuses. By structuring your implementation in this way, not only can you customize the user experience for each location, you can compare the data side by side. Find out if those two campuses really are different. In this example, we'll just use our parent organization so we can leave this field blank. The access code field is another way to filter your data. Access codes are Vita Navis's way of easily segmenting data into buckets. The buckets created are up to you. We see clients create access codes based on graduation year, event, even classrooms. Using these buckets, you can then compare groups. Find out if your senior class is different from your freshman class. If you're an admissions counselor, tailor a presentation by using the access codes to identify the basic interest scales most common for the school you're visiting. In this example, we won't limit to any specific access code. We also provide eight age ranges to help filter to groups of interest. In this example, let's only keep those 14 to 18 and 19 to 24.
Finally, we provide gender for those who wish to explore this a little bit more. I do want to mention for some individuals and organizations, the categories provided here may be incomplete. We don't disagree and we can work to help accommodate your organization's needs. Now that we've successfully identified our data, it's time to decide how we want to aggregate it. There are two options which we must select. First, do we want to group by specific categories such as organization or age? What this will do will create groups for each option such as organization or age. In this case, let's choose age. Remember that we selected those who are 14 to 18 and those 19 to 24. In our graph, we'll have data for each of these groups so we can see if there are differences. The final option is to choose if you'd like the data to be presented back as counts or percents. Let's choose percents because they'll be a little easier to interpret in this case. With the final selection, you're done and ready to hit submit and look at the results. Go ahead, try it. You won't break anything. Now let's look at our filtered data. First, if we mouse over the filter, it will tell us how we selected and aggregated the data. Next, we can see the two age groups we chose are provided side by side. The same basic interaction options we talked about before are still available. We can check and uncheck items in the list, and we can mouse over the graph for more information. If you find the groups a little confusing to review, you can drag the slider bar across the top of the graph and limit what you see. Using this feature can be particularly useful if you have a large number of groups to compare. Remember the data download option? It's still available and adjust to the data being displayed. Let's take a quick look. Let's click the download icon and choose the data download option and then the Excel data format. With the data downloaded, let's take a peek. We can open the downloaded data in Excel. The data is provided back in a tabular format, which is easy for analysis and making graphs of your own. Here we make a quick comparative bar chart in seconds. With this tool in your belt, you have access to the data and can create your own visualizations. Did you create a filter you'll use frequently? Are you wondering if you're going to have to create it every time? No. You can save it. Consistent with other Vita Navis interactions, once the filter is applied, you can save it by clicking the star in the upper left hand corner. You will then be prompted to add a title and a description to your filter. Let's call this one, Hello World, with the description, My First Filter. Once submitted, the filter is now saved to your personal profile. It's accessible only to you, so you don't have to worry about any other users. It's just for you. Great, now that the filter is saved, how do you use it? Back to the filter icon. This time, rather than clicking Create Filter, we'll select from the list of existing filters. Here, let's try flipping between the default and the Hello World filter. First, Click the default filter and click apply. Great, it looks like the original analytics page we looked at before. Now let's apply the hello world filter we just created. To apply the filter, click the filter icon, select hello world and click apply. Remember, if you mouse over the filter icon, it'll show you how the data has been filtered and aggregated. Pretty simple, right? Now, you may be wondering, how many filters can you make? Right now, there are no limits. So if you find something interesting, save it and reuse it. What if you want to take it one step further and make your filter be applied every time you look at the data? Simple. First, click the filter icon. Second, select your Hello World filter. Third, Check the Use Selected Filter as Default box. And finally, click Apply. Done. The next time you open this analytics page, it will use your filter. Let's try it. Click Demographics and let it load. 
Now, click back on Super Strong. As you can see, my newly created Hello World filter is applied. If I click the filter icon again, you'll see the default filter still exists. Create and save as many filters as you'd like. What if you created a filter you don't like? If you haven't saved it, you don't need to do anything. Unsaved filters are temporary and will be forgotten when you browse away from the page or apply a new filter. What if you did save it and you need to delete it? Again, consistent with other Vita Navis behaviors, it's as simple as clicking the star icon. Let's delete our Hello World filter. To delete a filter, the filter must be applied. So let's apply the Hello World filter. Notice the star in the upper left hand corner? That means it's saved. Click it if you want to delete it. Now confirm you want to delete it. The filter is now deleted. Let's confirm this by looking at the filter menu. Yep, Hello World is no longer listed. Let's apply the default filter again. Do you notice anything different about this filter? No star in the upper left hand corner, which means it can't be deleted. So don't worry, you'll always have the default filter. If you accidentally delete one of your filters, you can always rebuild it. While we focused on the super strong, the ability to create and apply new filters is possible for all of our analytics pages. Create a new filter to look at the assessment usage based on location or filter the demographics. More than anything, remember, the filters are designed to allow you to explore your data. So don't be afraid to play around. What questions can you answer? So where do we go from here? Well, we think the future is very bright for bringing the data to you. In fact, analytics is really in its infancy with many exciting things to come. Let's cover a few of our analytics pages currently under construction. First, we're working on an analytics for the student success profile. Powered by the CPI 260, the student success profile brings the power of personality to students. Help each student identify their behavioral patterns on 10 soft skills important to school and work. Using the data, learn and develop these skills for your students to help them graduate and be successful. Next, we're working on analytics for the Super Strong ROI survey. The Super Strong ROI survey is a very quick 12 item survey. Results allow you to know instantly what your students think of their super strong experience. Does it really help undecided college students? Our data says so, but don't take our word for it. Collect your own data and find out. We're also working on major analytics. Created for post-secondary education institutions, major analytics provides insights into your students' interests and how they align with majors at your school. Identify and explore trends to make informed decisions on program development. Finally, our most important feature direction is driven by you. Our goal is to provide easy and non-anxiety producing access to your data. We need your help to make our product better. Like what you see? Don't like what you see? Have a better idea? Let us know by contacting us through our help form. Thank you. We appreciate your time and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions about products or custom services for things like surveys or analytics pages, please contact us using the information below.